Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Some of you have been watching the channel long enough to remember, I don't know, about a year and a half ago when I used to make a lot of videos from the car because I had places to go and things to do and things are opening and places are opening and there's things to do. So I'm back in the car a lot now these days when I'm not making videos for you guys, doing lessons, writing books, all, all of that stuff to try to keep you guys informed. Anyway, today I am going to talk about five reasons you should join and play in the APA. If you're on the fence about this, if you're not sure if you want to join a pool league, I'm going to give you five reasons you should do it. And I'm picking on the APA because that's the one I'm most familiar with. But any organized pool league out there, if you have an opportunity to join, most likely these five reasons are going to fall into the same category. So, reason number one, and these are in no particular order. Socialization. Most people in most parts of the country have been more or less locked down for the last year and a half. And as a result, you haven't been able to socialize with people. You haven't met new people. You haven't been around people. And some of you probably um, don't want to be around people, and that's fine too. If you join a pool league, you will meet a lot of new people in a relatively short period of time. And you'll probably meet more people than you will hanging out at your local establishments. Uh, if you guys play at bars or whatever, uh, you get the same group of people in there. But when you join a pool league, what happens is there's five, six teams in your division and they all come together and you multiply that by anywhere from five to eight people showing up for each one of those teams every week and you have exposure to like 40 people that you've never met before. And of those 40 people, some of those people you're gonna really hit it off with. So socialization and connections and finding people that uh, you have something in common with is a very valuable aspect of playing in a league. The vast majority of people that I've met during that time in the APA have been just amazing, really nice, down-to-earth, cool people. I can't think of one time out of the 60 to 100, 260 people that I met that I said, that guy's an asshole, I don't like that guy. The types of people that join the league tend to be really good, nice people. So that said, um, I think that the social aspect of joining the league is golden. Second thing, the playing in this type of environment where you're getting competition on a weekly basis is really good for your game. A lot of you guys who, what I call um, basement players or garage players, uh, you're playing nobody from week in to week out. And as a result, your game gets stagnant. You, you can't get any better. You can't really learn to play safeties and, and uh, you know test yourself as far as your abilities go when you're not playing matches against anyone. So just a competitive aspect of being in a league is going to help your game overall. Which brings me to the next one. Getting a barometer, a gauge of where you stand. This is a very big point about the APA and, and similar leagues that a lot of people miss. A lot of people are big fish in a little pond. And, you know, I'm sorry I always pick on the local bars, but they're the, probably the best example of a lot of the things that I talk about, uh, even though I don't play at the local bar. But guys that play at the local bar, you can walk in the average bar in America and be an APA four, which is considered a, a, um, uh, a an average player. You can walk in the average bar in America and be an APA four and run the place. I mean, just flat out own the place. Uh, you will find out in the league that there's a lot of really good players out there. Uh, so you have guys that have been beating all their friends and, and all the guys that put their quarters up or whatever you guys do these days uh, on your bar boxes. Uh, and 
and they don't realize that they're not that good. And one of the things that the league does is it allows you to see exactly where you stand versus other players. I think that's very important because I, I tried to do the math the other day because I, I know guys have been playing for 30 years and always felt that they were good until they actually started competing outside of their little circle. And I was just trying to figure out the average guy that say goes to his local bar or club or whatever, um, you know, once a week for uh, let's say five or 10 years, might only play 20 people, 20 different people over a 10 year time period. Think about that. How many new people flow through your local bar, your local club or, or wherever you're playing? So to be exposed all of a sudden to 50, 100, 150 new players is going to be essential in knowing exactly where you stand as a player. Okay, and reason number four, you will learn something. Even if you are a pretty decent player, maybe you go in and you're a six or you're a seven, you will learn something either about pool or about yourself or about human beings. There is still learning for you to do. And because you're exposed to so many new players, so many people you've never seen before, uh, so many situations that have never come up before, you will learn something about the game and about yourself. And like I said, it may be about yourself as a competitor. It may just be about other human beings. And number five, you have an opportunity to win prizes. You're not going to get rich in the APA. Um, but you're not going to get rich as a professional pool player either. Uh, you, you have a chance to win prizes and travel. So you get to go to Vegas every year possibly. And that's a plus for a lot of people. So the fact that you can get in some travel, you can win some prizes, you can get some, some plaques, some awards, some patches, all those things that kind of confirm who you are and that you're doing good, uh, regardless of your level, those are important things to a lot of players. And you have an opportunity to do that when you play in the APA or any other pool league, I'm sure. So I hope this video helped you guys. Anybody who's on the fence and any of you who play in the APA, or haven't played in the APA, but have given it some thought, hit me in the comments and let me know if you have any other reasons that I might have missed on. Have a great day. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.